Standard & Poor's issued a blunt warning yesterday to the U.S. about getting its financial house in order. With more on the intensified political divisions in Washington, we bring in Maya McGinnis. She is president of the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget. It's a bipartisan advocacy group in Washington. Maya, thanks so much for joining us this morning. How seriously do those in D.C. take this call, this warning shot from Standard & Poor's? Well, good morning. Certainly, uh, certainly this is serious. Um, you know, on one hand, it's nothing that we didn't know. Uh, we all know that the fiscal situation of the U.S. is certainly uh, is, is not good, is quite dangerous. Uh, but on the other hand, this is one of those reminders, and they seem to come along more and more frequently, that things have got to change and that right now there's not sufficient space that our political process is going to meet that challenge and that the repercussions of not making changes are very serious. So and while on this time, in some ways, the bond market, the response was a bit of a yawn, a the bond market's going to yawn until it wakes up, and then it's going to be too late to make these changes. So, so policymakers should take this seriously. You don't think we should be sort of lulled into this sleepy reaction as well? And that, to your point, I mean, Treasury has sort of shrugged it off. Yeah, uh, they shrugged it off, and there's, there's obviously going to be a little bit of shooting the messenger, saying, well, you know, th this, this isn't as bad as they're making out to be. Nobody who looks at the U.S. fiscal picture says that we're in good shape. And nobody who looks at the political environment says we're certainly on track to have this resolved this year, which is what we should be trying to do. So there is legitimate concern, reason for concern, uh, and I think it's actually helpful to have these warnings that we need to start moving quickly to deal with the policies and have some political compromise to actually put them in place, hopefully, uh, in the coming months. Maya, you mentioned, big deal. you mentioned political compromise. Do you think this was bad timing on the part of Standard & Poor's? I mean, some would say both the Republicans and the Democrats had come forward with some serious proposals. Wilbur Ross, for example, said it was actually bad timing. Do you agree with that statement? Well, my assumption is that they looked at the plans and decided that neither of them were uh, close enough to putting us on track to having this actually resolved. If they had thought that either the president's framework or the House Republican plan was something that was likely to get passed this year, I assume they would have stood back. But so far, the discussion is real. We're having the discussion in this country. But the, the road to compromise is not yet paved, and we're not sure how this is going to play out. Uh, and I think they need to see, my guess is, more more willingness of politicians to actually move together on something that's passable in the near future. Uh, we know that Standard & Poor's, with its opinion, also released it saying uh, U.S. policymakers may not reach an agreement on medium long-term budgetary challenges by 2013. Do you think lawmakers are going to read between the lines and say, oh, we have two more years? Well, I think that actually what's changing is that for the past months, a lot of people thought this was something that could be delayed until after the election, and people are always waiting until the next election. There are more and more reminders now that even though we don't know how serious, what the, what the timing of a potential real problem in the U.S. would be, that waiting until after the election to put a budget deal in place is a very risky strategy, and I believe that there's now more momentum, particularly in the Senate, and you hear more and more people coming up with specific plans to try to get something done this year. I don't think anybody should read in any messages that we can wait till after 2013 or after the election because it's not at all assured that we can. We don't know when the bond market stop yawning and start really worrying. And S&P, of course, putting a one in three chance that the rating would be cut in two years. Maya, thank you so much. Maya McGinnis joining us there. She is president of the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget.